domestic violence doesn't paint a pretty picture. Insightful watercolors reveal emotions, bringing them to the surface in a series of penetrating portraits of abuse victims. The Survivor Project was an art piece I had thought about for a couple years before I finally did it. When the time came, artist Bobby Cruz decided to tell difficult stories with images of nothing more than faces. I interviewed women who were survivors of domestic violence. I would just listen. While I listened, I painted watercolor portraits very quickly. So what I was after was not an image that would tell you that this is so-and-so, but that this is someone in pain, living through a chaotic time. Someone who was perhaps frightened or walking on eggshells, just on edge. And I painted, painting after painting. I'd paint for a few minutes, throw it down, paint some more throw it down, paint some more, and the whole time they're telling me their story. The completed work is a collection of images from Bobby's sessions. Its impact doesn't begin and end with the viewer. The Survivor Project also affected the participants on both sides of the canvas. I was so afraid I would infringe on their privacy, but afterward, every one of them that I painted told me that they felt very affirmed and they felt like they were finally heard. And that was an amazing thing for me. I do the work for domestic violence because I think it makes a difference for the people who have been bogged down in this mode of thinking where women and girls don't have value. And I want to show them that they do and I want to show the world that this kind of treatment and behavior is not okay. The human element is a vital part of Bobby's art. You can see it in her unique portraits, in the nudes scattered about her studio, even in Bobby's impressive, affectionate expression of classic cars. And even though these are inanimate objects, you know, we put so much love and care into our vehicles that they become part of the family. I've been painting all my life. I painted when I was a kid, but I took a big break when I was raising children. But there is one aspect of her art from which Bobby never took a break. I've always been interested in women's issues because from the time I was a small child, I was told, you, you're, you can't do that. You're a girl. Now grown up, that girl has learned to use her artistic gifts as tools for awareness and empowerment. In the spirit of her Survivor Project, Bobby created simple silhouettes that portray disturbing scenes of power, control, and ultimately violence. Life-size cutouts of this work have a powerful effect on people who pass through the halls of the Knoxville Family Justice Center. Victims who've come through who sometimes are struggling at understanding what they're in. Some of the advocates have brought them down to see the silhouettes and then they go, I'm not the only one. A closer look reveals a detail that makes the work even stronger. On the male figures is written his abusive language. On the females, the words are her thoughts of confusion and self-blame. Not only do they teach the public and people who don't quite get it, they remind people who work in that field what it's all about. Bobby's diverse work conveys messages of hope, recovery, and taking control of one's life. I think all the paintings that I create and other pieces of art are about connections. I'm not an in-your-face type of artist, but when I feel strongly about something, I will do art to tell what I have to say, and hopefully it'll make a difference. Mm -hmm.